we have learned how to nest tomato from the nesting to the almost to the to the harvest. What a, a gift. The prof is really a gift to us and to humanity and to Nigeria and to the country Nigeria as a whole. Prof, we appreciate you, we appreciate, appreciate everything you have done for us. Thank you. May God bless you and bless your family. Amen. We appeal to the government of this country, Madam, as, you are, as to the eye of the government. Without one thing, yeah, I think we are missing something. Oh, well, uh, there's something Prof teach on here about organic manure. We will really want the government to be able to develop that talent. Once more again, to be able to learn that. We appreciate that. And we appreciate you. May God strengthen you and grant you people joining Messi back to your very destination. Cheers. Not mean any opportunity that comes, we might not come back. We we'll still come back. We'll be having the NISDP, the Youth Empowerment Program. We don't know which of the traits they are going to go into. And when they ask us to suggest traits, too, we can suggest things like this for them to do it. So if they select it, fine. It will go a long way for us to learn I'm such. That's for you. Thank you, very much. Uh -huh, welcome. It's just one time. The fast can 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 um, we know that there is a major problem facing Nigeria today, problem of unemployment, particularly our youths. Many of them are roaming the streets and they are doing nothing. Uh, the, what you have, the program you have uh, introduced that we are doing now is a very good one. Uh, what are the possibilities that these things will be sustained? Because we have too many youths that are on our streets. We want to believe God for the strength and the opportunity given to us to do this. The Industrial Training Fund felt we want to meet the needs of the economy with the vision of the president and we decided to go into empowerment of the youth. And the youth empowerment has gone so many ways and we felt dry season farming is one thing that would bring out employment too to some of the youths. That's why we decided to go into this. I will believe that given the opportunity at the end of this program, we want to see what they would get out. You see, one thing leads to the other. You know, their zeal and this thing that they have shown and this definitely will sustain it. We will make it grow from different sets to the other. We're not going to leave it as a this because if we leave it this, that means we have just started giving them something. Today we end up we give them the starter part to go into it, not the total, but at least the major aspect of it, which is the water pumping machine for it. I will now want to believe that uh, with what the country is speaking about, we will do our best to go into it more and more. We we'll add to it. We might this time around we started with 40. We might be going more than that 40, expanding and seeing the place you have. I think we will get more if we can be able to handle it. Okay. Then another major thing now that it happened, the world is technology. Yes. Uh, if tomato in the open field gives five tons per hectare, in the greenhouse it can give up to 250 tons. Yes. So uh, is uh, your organization considering uh, greenhouse technology? It's a good one because right now in my office I have it on the agripreneurship starting up. Okay. We have the greenhouse already built okay. which we're about to start okay. and we have the poultry and the other aspects. We are looking into it. 
what we actually have as a challenge in Enugu State is a house, the place to do it. Because we've got to, we've asked the governor to give us a place for skill center to be built, and which we know we've given the greenhouse will be one of the things we're going to look into with the space. If you're looking at technology, which you have said, there's no way we'll not go into it. If you visit my office today, you'll see the greenhouse being built okay. for us to go into, which I told you we'll be inviting you to tell us more and more the things we're going to be doing together in collaborations. Well, I think uh, I thank God for people like you. Formerly, Nigerian agriculture was more operational in the television and on newspapers. But today, we are seeing it on ground because people like you have come into it. I wish you more grace and I pray the Lord will keep you and sustain your efforts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. training fund. Yeah. Tell us how it is. Uh, it's wonderfully okay, especially to our health and any other thing. Uh, it's really an opportunity, a privilege. I'm privileged to be here to really go to, into this training. And I have learned a lot from our professor. It's wonderful that we have this type of people in Nigeria and our, our country is suffering from one thing or the other. So, I'm just uh, seizing this opportunity also to plead for the government to be able to use this talent as the man is here alive. It's an opportunity to our, our beloved country so that we can be able one day to export what what of uh, his talents. The man has a lot of country's talent to grow crops, many things, and many other things with ease without no problem. Welcome. So what have to tell to the, to the federal government concerning uh, industrial training fund today? Um, I'm thanking the federal government of Nigeria for giving us the opportunity once more again. You know, our parents started there. So we think that they are failing us, we'll go to oil. Then today we remember where we are coming from. It's a wonderful thing. We thank the government who, initiated, who initiated the initiative to start here, to start where we started from so that we can be able to be a great country once again. Yeah, welcome. Today you are into tomato farming. Yeah. So tell us more about the tomato farming. Uh, the what you learned from the, from, from the training. Yeah. The training, the tomato farming is one thing, it's very, very, it's something that is fragile. You have to manage it very well. And uh, thank God that today, as you see this tomato here, there's nothing like fertilizer or any artificial thing. Everything here is natural. You can see this time, rain, the rainy season is not yet even around. 
but you can see how the tomato is fresh very very wonderfully okay is because of what this man teach us how to nest it and the tomato farming uh, I, I cannot tell you a lie if we continue like this we are going to be exporter of uh, tomatoes in Nusoka here thank you sir thank God you bless. thank you good afternoon so please tell us your names uh, Professor Michael Oguro of the University of Nigeria it's okay Prophet, today uh, we are at uh, the industrial training uh, fund. fund concerning uh, dry season tomatoes. Production. Please tell us more about this. Sir. Yes, um, you see, during the rainy season, when you produce tomato, when our farmers are producing, you don't get much money. But if you go into dry season production of tomatoes, your fruits will come out when other people are not producing. And so you, you, your, your own will attract high premium. You make more profit, you make more gain. That is why ITF, Industrial Training Fund, brought uh, 40 youths for me to train them. And I have trained them on dry season production of tomatoes. And that is what you are seeing now. These are the, are the today is March 27. And uh, these tomatoes will be ready for harvest by ending of April. And then that time there's no tomato in any in the market. You have four fruits for two hundred naira. So there will be plenty of money. That is why we are embarking on this type of production. Thank you sir. Yeah. So please uh, what uh, you have to tell the federal government about uh, agriculture today. Yes. Uh, I want to let the federal government know that our agriculture is the intent now. Nigeria has nothing to do with poverty if we emphasize the agriculture. Because from planting to production to processing to distribution to marketing, all of them will engage people. And this youth unemployment will be a thing of the past if agriculture is given the attention that it deserves. Thank you, bro. Welcome.